Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this extension review tutorial, you're going to learn about the extension called Custom Ship Price. Yeah, Dave, and this is a fantastic extension. It allows us as administrators to our Magento website to add in a custom shipping price to an order, which if you think about this logically, you only have the options which you have pre-made or pre-selected within your Magento system. So if you've got a customer on the phone and you want to tweak their shipping price, which they're going to pay to you for their order, with this extension, you can do that. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, we're going to jump straight across to our desktop. We're going to show you how this extension works. If that's an extension which you would like to add to your Magento store, of course, carry on and watch the rest of the tutorial, but hang around for just a minute or two more and we'll show you what this extension does and then you can make your decision from there. Oh, and Dave, it's also worth pointing out that this extension is also free currently on Magento Connect as well. So Dave, we've been to come across to our Magento system and this screen may not look immediately familiar to you. What we've done, we've gone into sales and then orders. We've been in clicks on create new order. We've chosen a customer and we have also been in here and added a line item to our order. Now with default Magento, when you go to the shipping method section, you only ever get this link, don't you? Which says get shipping rates. And in our system, it was only pre-configured to just have fixed and five pounds. Now, what this extension does is that it allows you to add in your own custom rate for the shipping price. So you could call this Dave's special shipping if you wanted to spell incorrectly twice. <laughs> Happy days. So maybe you've got a customer on the phone and maybe it's a return which you're sorting out and your returns process is to create a duplicate order or to create a new order and then tweak the line items and things like that. Maybe you want to send the item out to free for them. So as you'll find out in the rest of the tutorial, we used a rate of £4.50, but maybe you want to set the rate as being free on this order. So I've just been entered zero in there and then click on save. And that now means that we have a custom shipping price and name. So Dave's special shipping for zero pounds or zero dollars depending on what currency you've got in your store so that then means that you can then go and carry on and edit your order and you've got full control not only over the price which the customer pays for the shipping but also the label or the title of the shipping method as well sound useful dave yeah sounds really useful absolutely so if that's something which you would find useful for you and your business using magento carry on and watch the rest of this tutorial we'll show you where to go and get this free extension how to install it how to configure it and ultimately how to use it too now before we get started and install this extension onto our magento system and of course if you're following this tutorial along and installing it on your system there are five basic steps that you must take before installing any extension on your magento system now these are split into two sections. So firstly, before you do anything else, we want you to make a complete system backup of your Magento site. And once you've done that, turn off compilation. That's right. Now during this tutorial, we'll actually go through these. We make a backup before installing each and every extension on our Magento site. And also you'll see us go in and just double check that compilation is turned off on our site. Now we are gonna assume that you've made those two steps. And Dave, there's three additional steps as well, aren't there? There are. Now, if you've installed Magento extensions before, these should be no stranger to you. But just for clarity, we're going to run through them. Thirdly, you're going to add the extension and wait for that install to complete fully. So that's that green message, cache cleared successfully. Exactly. Then we're going to return to the admin area and clear out all of the caches. And crucially, it's the biggest mistake I've made this for myself so many times, Dave. Remember to log out and log back in again. And that's especially important adding larger extensions because when you go into the, like, the configuration area, you'll end up with this big 404 error on your page. So with that said, let's go and get this extension installed. And you might have heard us say this one slide over and over again if you've been watching lots of the tutorials which we've made as part of this course, but it is super important. Do make a backup of your Magento system. Do just double check the compilations disabled. Do wait for the extension to complete its install. 
do clear out your caches and do remember just to log out and log back in again. And those five steps are the steps which you have to make with any extension for your Magento store. So Dave, that was the boring ad bit out of the way. Let's go and get this extension installed. Let's do it. Right Dave, let's go and get this extension installed. Now up on our screen right now, we have a link, don't we? We do indeed. The link is understandinge.com forward slash get hyphen CSP. Yep, and CSP stands for Custom Ship Price. And if you type that link into your web browser, you'll then come across to the Magento Connect website. You will need to be logged in to get the extension key. So Dave, let's go and get this extension installed. So we'll then click on Install Now. We'll tick the I agree box, which Dave, I think you said that we need to read twice and then once before bedtime. That's, <laughs> <on> the... <laughs> that's the one. We really want to be up to date with our terms, conditions and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> right. Anyway, you're just going to click on the get key. Then we're going to click on select key, right click and choose copy. That's our Magento key. Let's go back to our Magento system. Now, of course, you would have made a backup of your system, turned the compiler off and gone through the steps before installing any extension as you normally would. We're going to go to the system menu, down to Magento Connect, and then into the Magento Connect Manager. It's quite normal that you'll be asked to log in. Our system takes a few seconds to install, and of course, if you get any red warning messages on the next screen, don't panic, just contact your web hosting provider. It's most likely just a file permissions issue. Brilliant, that's been finished. So where it says paste extension key to install, I'm going to right click and paste, and then click on the install button on the right hand side. Then 01 custom ship price, that sounds about right. We'll click on the proceed button. And Dave, the text which we're looking for is cash clean successfully, which, there you go, has just been and popped up at the bottom. So let's go back to the top. And just as we do with any extension which we add to our Magento system, we need to return back to the admin. We need to clear the caches out. And crucially, we must remember to log out and log back in again. Because Dave, if we don't do that, then we just get 404 messages all over the place. So we we'll go to system, down to cache management, select all on the left hand side, click submit on the right hand side. That will take a few seconds. Then we're going to flush our Magento cache. Once that's finished, we're going to flush the cache storage. There we go. And then click on OK. Again, this does take a few seconds to go through. So if you are following us along in your Magento system, just pause this video as and when needed. Ours is taking a few seconds. There we go. And then crucially, we must remember to log out and then log back in again. Brilliant. So Dave, as we just found out a few seconds ago, we must enable this custom shipping option first. So to do that, if you go down to system, and then down to configuration. Then from the left hand bar, so let's just scroll down and we're after shipping methods. There we go. So underneath the sales menu on the left, click in on shipping methods and we will have a new option there called custom shipping price. So where we've got here, where it says enabled, we are gonna set that to yes. And now we're gonna go and click on save config. Once that's finished saving, what we're now gonna do, we're gonna to go to sales and then orders. We're gonna go and create a manual order. So go and click on create new order. Then we're gonna go and choose a customer record. We'll choose a store view. We're quickly gonna add a product to our order as well. So I am going kind of quick here. No apologies for that. It's all kind of like simple stuff. And then if we now scroll down and then click on the get shipping methods and rates, Dave, aha custom shipping price. If we had Magento just out of the box and because of our shipping setup, we would have only been able to select standard shipping fixed five pounds. But maybe for this customer, we want to charge them more because they have a collection of other items. It doesn't really fit in with our rules. We could put in a special rate in there and we put our own text in there. Oh, wrong box in the title. And then the rate, we could do that for four pound 50 for example, and then click on save. And then that's the amount the customer will be charged. And Dave, that's super handy. Maybe we've got a customer on the phone, for example, and we then go on and add a payment method and so on and so forth. But we can now tweak and fully customize the shipping method, not only the name, but also the price the customer is going to pay for shipping. That's something which we can't do out of the box with Magento. 
So that's what that extension adds for us and our system. And of course, for your Magento install too. Does that make sense, Dave? Yeah, totally. And that's, again, a nice added bit of functionality to the standard Magento system. Yeah, it's very subtle, but when you need to do that, it's going to come in super handy for you and your business. So for myself, Dave, and of course, Matt too, we sincerely hope that you found this tutorial useful or at least informative. And whilst the CSP extension might not be something that you use every day, and certainly not in every order, just having that functionality there can really save you a lot of hassle if you did need to update the shipping price in the actual order. That's right. So maybe it was a customer return, for example, and you want to tweak their shipping price to make it free to send it out to them. Just me just thinking of use cases. It's one of those which, when you need it, is extremely handy, and also one of those little things which isn't available with default Magento. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. We both hope that you found this video tutorial useful. If you have, then subscribe to be kept up to date with more Magento themed tutorials. Back before myself and Matt started building Understanding E, I was under the impression that Magento was really nerdy and that you almost needed to be a developer to get the most out of it. And now, I know that that just doesn't have to be the case. That's why we built Understanding E to show you that Magento is really easy to use and you can use it for your business to sell onto eBay and Amazon and most importantly that a degree in nerd is not required. If you would like to find out more about us and gain access to over 150 non-nerd step-by-step video tutorials on Magento then please visit us at understandinge.com And we'll see you there. Cheerios!